my eyebrows and my eyes are already primed. By the way, I'm sick, so ignore my voice. Sorry, I'm a little stuffy and nasally right now. So I took my So Susan Concealer Quad in that white shade, and I prepped my eyes just so the colors come on more vibrant. And then here I took my um, blending brush, and I took some from my new LA Colors Quad in like a coppery, rosy kind of shade, threw that in the crease. And then... Um, Let's see. Then I took my Rimmel Bronzer in Sunshine, and I buffed that in the crease because I really wanted this to be a bronzy, glowy look. And then I took Samel and Latinas from the Kat Von D palette, mixed them together so that there's it's like a lighter, creamy brown shade, and um, it was just easier to kind of buff it into the crease and make sure everything is diffused and buffed out. So that's what I'm doing here. And then I did it on the other eye. And then here I'm wetting my brush with like a setting spray just so that um, anything I dip my brush into after it's wet, it comes off a lot more metallic and vibrant looking. So I did that with a flat definer brush. And then I went into my NYX Glam Eyeshadow in Boost. It's a really pretty coppery color. It's just absolutely beautiful. There is some flecks of glitter in here. And then I packed that on all over my lid, not going past the crease. I'm kind of carving out the lid area. And then it wasn't intense enough, so I ended up going in um, to my LA Colors Quad and taking this really reddish coppery color, and you'll see it right here. It's super vibrant. So, yeah, I really liked how that turned out. And then I took um, from that same, same LA Colors Quad this khaki army green color and, like, um, an angled fluffy brush, and I'm putting that into the outer V of my eye. And I was actually trying to wing it up, um, it's very messy the way I'm doing it, but um, it was fine because I really just wanted it to be really blown out and winged upwards like towards the tail of my brow so that later when I clean it up with a makeup remover, it's very sharp and crisp, if that makes sense. And then I took my clean blending brush and just buffed everything out, making sure we have no harsh lines. Then I took my L'Oreal Infallible Iced Latte um, eyeshadow. And as you can see, I'm packing that onto the center of the lid. It gives your eye a lot of dimension, and also it looks pretty when you blink and stuff. You can see that pop of color in the center, and it really brightens your eyes. It looks so beautiful. I really loved how this turned out. And then I'm taking the makeup remover I was telling you that I was going to do, and I'm kind of cleaning up under my eyes just in case we have fallout under there. And I'm making sure that the edge of my eyes is nice and crisp since we are not doing um, eyeliner today. Then I'm taking my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, as per usual, and um, my L'Oreal um, Magic Light Infusing Primer, and I'm going to be mixing those just to get a really glowy, radiant, dewy look to the skin, and I took that on my Sony Kashuk Flat Top Kabuki Style Brush, packing that on, beating my face, you know, the usual. <laughs> And then I took my makeup wipe and um, wiped off concealer and makeup that came onto my lips because it literally drives me insane. And you can see here how crazy pigmented my lips are. It's kind of crazy. It, it looks almost weird with how pale I am. It just, I don't even know anymore. Okay, then I took my L'Oreal True Match um, Fusion, oh no, the crayon corrector. It's just in a dark color. And I'm kind of putting it in the contour areas of my face, but I like this because it's very warm. It's not like an ashy undertone type of thing. So I, I just wanted it to really warm up my complexion. And then I'm also taking it on the sides of my nose um, just to give my nose some structure so it doesn't just disappear into my face. And I don't know if you can tell, but I really cupped my cheeks with this um, so that it gives my cheeks a fuller look because I don't have full cheeks and I wish I did. So that's what I did to kind of um, trick the eye into thinking I do have nice, full, plump cheeks. <laughs> and then here it's all blended out, and then I'm blending it down the sides of my nose. I don't do this necessarily to make my nose look smaller or slimmer. I just do it because I feel like it disappears and looks flat into my face. So anyways, then I took my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. No, N yeah, NC15. Put that under my eyes and buffed, or Blended that out with a Real Techniques um, little sponge. And then I took my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and just made sure that everything is kind of meshing together really nicely. 
And then I went back with that glam shadow from NYX that we used in the beginning. And this is the thing I kind of wanted to do with this look. No mascara, no eyeliner on the bottom lash line. I'm just simply putting eyeshadow and really smudging it out so that it goes really far down. I, I'm not afraid to kind of drag it down. I think it's a really cool look. And I really, really liked how it turned out after I did that. And then here I'm just setting my under eye with my e.l.f. Um, high definition under eye setting powder, which also has some flecks of shimmer in it, which I'm all about that life today, apparently. So yeah, then I took my Love & Beauty um, blush. As you can see, it's like a color wheel with different shades of bronze and pink and like um, champagne colors. Mix it all together, pop that on my little cheeks so that it looks... Um, more glowy because everything I'm using today pretty much has shimmer, glitter, or sheen to it because I was trying to look like a glowing goddess, you know? I'm all about that life. And then I'm going to be taking, I think, a big fluffy brush once I literally sit here and do this. Okay. And then I'm taking my Essence Sun Club um, Matte Bronzing Powder in 01 Natural. And I'm just wisping that on my face for even more color because I want it to look really bronzy and really tan. And so I kind of put that on the perimeter of my face. Then I took my highlighter and topped off my cheekbones um, really intensely. I mean, I went in with like four layers of this highlighter. I was not playing today. I was trying to be seen from outer space. So yeah, and then I put that on my cupid's bow as well. Okay, so I'm giving you two lip options. The first one, I'm using my Maybelline lip liner in wine. I'm going to be lining my lips with that and then I'm going to be taking my OCC Lip Tar Stained Gloss in the color Jealous. And that's going to be the first lip option. There it is right there. I love OCC Lip Tars. They are amaze best. Okay, so it's a very bright reddish orange. I thought that, you know, since everything's so neutral, it would work if you wanted a bright lip. So there it is, lip number one. Lip number two, I took my Jordana um, lip liner in Tawny, topped it off with my Maybelline um, Color Sensational in um, Truffle Tees, and topped it off with a clear gloss, and that's lip number two. So you can go nude or really bright, whichever you prefer. I think they both look amazing. So here's lip number two. And then I ended up just grabbing my hair, literally just grabbing a chunk of my hair on the right side of my head, messily putting it into a braid because I was all about that bohemian, glowy, radiant look. You know what I mean? So yeah, and that is the completed look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Um, I really enjoyed filming it. I think this look is absolutely amazing. It's like the epitome of spring and summer. It really enhances your natural features. And I just, I really enjoyed wearing it. It was something different for me, and I just, I felt like a goddess. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.